Yo, what up? It's MB14, and welcome back for another SBX tutorial. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about something that a lot of loopers tend to underestimate but is also really important, it's the panning. The stereo effect is really important and it's actually how we perceive sound in the daily life because it's in three dimension. So my ears can identify what is coming from the front, from the sides and from the back. So if you incorporate this element in your music, it'll always feel better. And also when you start putting some stuff on the right and the left, it really gives more space for other elements to shine in the middle of your mix, such as uh, solos, lead vocals, but also drums and bass that you can hear with even more clarity. Now I'm gonna give you an example with a song and please pay attention to how I handle the stereo effect and how I put stuff on the right, on the left, on the middle. So for this track, at the beginning you have the mm, 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 and since it's uh, basically an exchange between two notes, I decided to put one on the right, one on the left. Then I'm trying to emulate a keyboard. And this keyboard contains three notes, which make a harmony. So I decided to put one in the middle, one on the right, one on the left. Because two on one side and one on the other side could be unbalanced. I also recommend to always let the drums and the bass in the middle of the song because it creates the foundation. At the end, I decided to record the lead vocals that complete the chorus. So the main vocals in chest voice are in the middle, and I harmonized myself in falsetto voice on the sides. One on the left, one on the right. One octave higher. That's it for the panning lesson. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching, and see you soon on another SBX tutorial. Hey, you made me a, you made me a